All right, crew members, welcome back to another recipe mukbang video. Today, guys, I'm going to be showing y'all a few items that I got from Timu to help me out in the kitchen, y'all. If you haven't already, please go in the description box and go over to Timu and download that app. New users will get 50% off their entire order. All you got to do is use the code that's on the screen. All right, y'all, let's get into this. So today, I'm going to be showing you how I make my homemade fish fillet from McDonald's. Um, and I'm also going to show you how I make some homemade fries and tartar sauce. So with the tartar sauce, I just started off with some mayo some sour cream, some dill relish, some dill weed, and the juice and zest of one lemon, y'all. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of honey just for a touch of sweetness, y'all. Um, not not a lot, just, just enough. And then I'm going to um, go in with some salt and pepper. Now, this is one of the first items that I got, y'all. These are two salt and pepper meals from Timu that are automatic, y'all. They're absolutely wonderful, and they cost under 10 bucks, y'all. I mean, you can't beat it. All right, so once I add the salt and pepper in there, y'all, I'm gonna just go ahead and combine everything together to make sure I get a good consistency, y'all. And um, if you wanted to, you could lift this with uh, adding capers. I usually do, but today I just didn't want that uh, that actual flavor in here. Um, I just minced those up really fine and then put them in there. Or you can add the uh, onion. This is another item I got from Timu, y'all. Two bucks to protect your onions. Can't beat it, man, I'm trying to tell you. Also, I'm gonna make my homemade fries, and guess what I'm gonna be using today? A fry cutter from Timu, y'all. This was like less than $15. And then um, it, it just cuts it up so easy, man. You got two different sizes that you can do. I did the small cut because McDonald's fries are usually uh, pretty uh, small. And um, once I cut up my potatoes with this awesome freaking fry cutter, I just gave my ice bath um, for around 15, 20 minutes. Just let those uh, uh, starches soak out of there. And um, yeah. Uh, then I'm going to go on to making my um, batter for my fish, y'all. I'm going to start off with a typical beer batter, y'all. This is a flour that I seasoned up pretty well. Then I'm going to go in with some beer. And I just want to uh, get a decent consistency. I don't want it too thin. I don't want it too thick either because um, it's actually going to thicken up as it sits. So I just want to get this consistency right here. And yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Um, I'm just gonna clean up that mess I got right here on the side of my bowl. And that brings me to our next item, y'all. Check out these stove gap covers between your counter and your stove top. You know how you can get a lot of dirt and mess to go between there and then you gotta move your whole stove out, stove out just to clean it up. Got these off of Timu too, man. Got these off of Timu. Timu got everything. And as and for those people who cook a lot in their kitchen, you can get a lot of items to help you out. And, and, and it's cheap. $3. $2.98. I ain't $2.98. All right, y'all. So moving on. Once I uh, let my fries soak for a little while, I'm going to bring my uh, pot of boiling water to a rolling boil. Now, it's going to be hard to bring this all the way back up to temperature, just depending on how many fries you got. So I just let these, usually if it'll start boiling, if you didn't have much, I let it boil for four minutes. Otherwise, I let it soak for six minutes. And then that brings me to our next item, y'all, this pot strainer. This is a lifesaver here. This is probably one of my favorite items that I got from um, from Timu, y'all. Less than $5. I just clip it onto the side of my pot. If you're making spaghetti noodles or just doing what I'm doing right here with the fries, you don't have to worry about sticking the lid on there and trying to handle that and, you know, almost burning yourself or dumping all your, uh, your food in the sink. This was real easy to use. Uh, I mean, just clips right on, y'all. Real simple. Under five bucks, y'all. 468 is what I paid for that. And then, um, all right, so y'all, it brings us to the next step. Once I drain my fries, I'm gonna uh, lay them on paper towels, y'all, spread them out, and I'm gonna dry them as much as possible and let them sit for about 10 minutes or so. Um, and, when, and in the process of doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and start frying my fish. And so by the time I'm done with that, you know, we'll be good. So I just take that wet beer batter and then I'm gonna go into another seasoned flour slash panko bread mixture, y'all. It's gonna give us a real uh, crispy, crunchy crust on that. Something that McDonald's just, you know, they can't compete with. McDonald's filet is good, but it's better. We know something better over here. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm gonna drop that in that hot grease, 375 degrees. Let that fry for at least, at least six to seven minutes. This is cod fish, y'all, so it's thick. It's not gonna dry out. Let that fry for at least six to seven minutes. If you can take it to 10, take it to 10, because you want that crispy golden crust that we got right there. After our fries have sat and have dried out for a little bit, we're gonna put those in 
the fryer as well. Fry them until golden brown, y'all. Usually I wouldn't fry fries in the same grease as fish, but I only fried a couple uh, pieces, so it's not gonna make that bitch a, a big of a difference. All right, so y'all, yeah, we're gonna dump this right here. Ah, ah, and then we're gonna take that salt grinder, just turn it upside down. Yeah, salt them fries, salt them fries. All right, y'all, so this is our, uh, we're assembling our sandwiches. I got some uh, American cheese, y'all. I put two slices of cheese. And, and don't argue with your mom about American, y'all. If it, you gonna do McDonald's, you need American. Take some of that homemade tartar sauce, put it on top. Boom, y'all, these were absolutely delicious. Remember to go to Timu, y'all. Use that code, get 50% off, y'all. We're gonna see you in the mook. Boom. Come a time you gotta act a fool to get results. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This day and we are hashtag. 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 Hashtag the cannons. C C T V. Alright everybody, welcome back to our eating show. show. Guys, today we're back with another book bong and today, now y'all tell them what we eating on, tell them what we eating on. Mm, y'all, today we got a homemade copycat fish filet from McDonald's and the fries are also homemade. So if this is your very first time being here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, y'all. Also, make sure you turn on your notifications. Touch the notification bell to all so you notify every single time the can address me. Oh, yeah. And remember, remember to hit that like button, y'all. Remember, uh, hashtag grow baby grow me on the road to 100k. We'll be there soon, y'all. So just keep on telling a friend to tell a friend, and we're gonna get there. We appreciate you, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and pray this food so we can get into it. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food. We're about to receive, Lord. We ask that you bless it, let it be nourished to our bodies, and bless those who are less fortunate. All these things we ask in your son Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Duh. All right, y'all. I got the fresco. Y'all already know. Oh, oh, you crazy. She got ketchup. Yes. <laughs> uh -uh. Alright, so we got the sandwiches up here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out the middle. Um just got uh homemade tartar sauce on there, got some cheese, and we got um uh I don't know what I'm trying to say, it looks so good. <laughs> And, um, yeah, so this is, uh, and then this just got some extra pieces right here, fish. Yeah, she's sloppy. Mm-mm. She a little, oh, girl, you know, she's getting a little weak in the knee. I'm going to eat it out of here, and then I'm going to put a little hot sauce on That's what I was going to do. Mm-hmm. Good. Baby. This shit good. <laughs> mm -hmm. McDonald's be trying to give me dry buns sometimes, y'all. I'm you gotta scared. worry about that at home. <laughs> I'm scared about these buns too. Why is it? When I cut them open, I thought that they were gonna be dry, but I think the hot fish kind of activated uh -uh. something. Here you go, honey. Thank you. I don't mean to interrupt your bite. No, I mean, <laughs> well, I was only one more bite, y'all. That comes in up for y'all. Mm. Mm. Now I just have to do something mm -hmm. for it. This is really the only way I can eat fish and American cheese. Don't know why.
I was sitting over here thinking, and I'm like, most of the time when I eat fish, I don't be using cheese. Mm -mm. <laughs> You might be get away with a little parmesan. Mm-hmm. Depending on what it is. Mm -hmm. Baby. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna quick work of this thing, boy. Mm. Mm. Got a fry. Delicious. Mm. So good right now. I'm hungry and yeah, I feel I like I'm eating aggressively. Me too. <laughs> I'm starving, y'all. It's like dead almost 10 o'clock. I know a lot of people be like, we ain't ate all day. <laughs> we ain't ate all day. Mm -mm. For real. It's like <clears throat> 10, going on 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. Mm -hmm. I'm so hungry right now. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't know. I feel like I'm eating hard. <laughs> Hey, baby. Mm. Make that home. What y'all got going on today? <laughs> right, we over here being selfish. Room time, we were fine. Mm -hmm. It's just a good one. Mm -hmm. These are fries, too. I was going to make them on the thicker side. But you know, McDonald's fries are shoe cream. Mm hmm. I stuck with it. That's still good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And unlike that. McDonald's, they still good. Mm -hmm. Cause you'd have bought that home from McDonald's and them fries would have been done for. Yeah, they just started cooling down. And they still good. Mm -hmm. I think I like it better. Someone got that little, that little soft. Some of them got the crisp. Mm -mm. A little mix. Mm. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, what y'all got going on the name? You know what I'm saying? It's Friday. Well, well, for y'all, it's probably Saturday. Mm -hmm. Just depending on when this go out. But in any case, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, yeah, we finally found those XXL wines that was trending on TikTok at one point. So, mm -hmm. we're going to give our food a little time to digest and see what they're talking about. Right. But who knows? Uh-uh. <laughs> who knows? No. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> I really wanted to try the pineapple one, but they didn't have it. Mm-hmm. So mango is. We got mango. Lois Peach. Hey, man, let's give it up. See. It looked like mango. <laughs> what does mango look like? Oh, well, you're lying. Mm. That was just a misstep. <laughs> we got a topic today about a gender reveal. <laughs> Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Sometimes I be seeing people gender reveal and I'm like, let's all let's open the paper. And I oh anyway. Nothing about gender reveal is. Now I've only been the one. I think I've only been the one. Some of them can be so underwhelmed. <laughs> like it's just like mm -hmm. look. <laughs> It's me with. Well, it's a girl. <laughs> this is me with my hot dog and hammer on. 
That's it. What is it? <laughs> what is it? They got pink and blue over there. I can't see. And then what about the one where a child messes up a grandma or a friend? Uh, messed up. Yeah, Miss Alka. Mm hmm. I think um, gender reveals are cool. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of thoughts should be put into them. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. I don't know. I don't know. I done seen some people do the thing and it don't really explode. Right. <laughs> Which I like the ones where people hit baseballs or whatever, but what if you miss? I done seen that too. <laughs> Keep swinging. Come on. <laughs> then I saw one where this um, couple liked Harry Potter. So they had like two. Each one of them had something and like mixed them and then. Oh, okay. Like a little push. Yeah, but I'm like, you had to make sure that, you know. I guess the, well, the ones I saw, it started off black, and I guess something reacted to get whatever, but honey, <laughs> the way these folk be out here crazy, be done, gave you the two colors to make whatever. Right. <laughs> no. It's time for me to read. Mm. This is so good, y'all. Mm -hmm. The tie is like flaky. Um, this man wants to know if he's wrong for overreacting. Yes. Damn. No. Nah, no. Let's get into it. Let's he began. It. Uh. Uh. My wife, 25, and I, 32, are expecting our first child. I've reacted in ways I'm now questioning and need outside perspective on. He provided some background about his childhood, which he said like a strong father-son bond. He said, growing up, I always craved a strong male figure in my life. I never had that bond with my father, and I've always envisioned having it with a son. My wife was aware of this deep-rooted desire. During her first pregnancy appointments, I was on an essential business trip. These trips, though draining, are critical since I'm the only breadwinner trying to ensure a different life for my child than I had. In my absence, my wife and her adopted mother attended the checkups. Upon my return, she excitedly told me we were having a boy. We invested emotionally and financially, a blue nursery, boy-themed items, even naming him after my late grandfather. However, a chance remark from her mother discovered we're having a girl. <laughs> my wife admitted she knew from the beginning but didn't tell me thinking she was protecting my feelings. I was devastated, feeling the weight of past hurt and fresh betrayals in my pain i cleared out the nursery and in a moment of regret told her mother she wasn't welcome at upcoming family events seeing as she was part of the deceit i acted out of deep-seated emotions and past traumas i love my wife and regret my actions but i am lost am i wrong for the way i yeah, act he lost and i am sir <laughs> i'm lost sir. i am lost with you sir because what the I, hold on rewind uh, she wrong too for I bite. <clears throat> so, because I might have misunderstood. So did uh she knew it was a girl the whole time, the whole time, and he didn't. He thought it was a boy, cause that's what she told him. So she, I missed that part. So she told him it was a boy. Cause I guess he wanted the boy so bad. So he knew that she she had found out the uh, the the gender. Well, that's what it was saying. Where she um was going on these appointments without him because he was on business trips. Mm -hmm. So, the mom and her were going to these. And so, when it came around the time for the gender and he asked, <laughs> she told him it was a boy. They done went and bought boy stuff. Oh, that's a lot. Boy stuff for the nursery, boy thing. That's um, he, she wrong, but he wrong too. It's a twofer. It's like... This is the way I see him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, because I'm not a big modern day feminist type of person at all. But this is what I see it is. It's like, be a man, bro. Because at the end of the day, don't match her wrong by flying off the handle. Saying like, the mom, okay? Uh -uh. Acting like a little 
Be biscuit. Oh, uh-uh. uh, it's like all that. I mean, I would have been upset. I'm going wrong. So why me, are you lying about that? Because even with me, it's just like, don't tell me no lie. Mm. I mean, I might express that I want some, blah, blah, blah. But I'm just like, where well, I'm, but see, I think that's the price for me and him would be different because my thing is, don't lie to me because I don't like wasting money. Don't have okay. me out here buying. That's well, what where I'm doing all this boy stuff. Like, I'm just, that's why I be pissed. I'm like, why did you lie? Like, cause right. now we got all this stuff that mm-hmm. don't even match. Now we got to, you know what I'm saying? And that's just going to, and that right there with me. You going to come around and find out with me. Okay. Cause I'm that one. Mm-hmm. Cause you, when she born. That you, um, you had, you. T- she just going to be in the blue. Oh. <laughs> we just going to have the blue everything. Not because, blue everything. because this is what you did. She shouldn't but have lied. She shouldn't have lied, but then you also have to wonder on the other end. For her to tell such a drastic lie. What has he done? And go through go all the way through with purchasing stuff. It's like she had to be really worried about his reaction. Yes. And I know that, you know, you definitely have to take people's uh mental, you know. How they feel about things. And a lot of things as I got older. I realized when they happen in your childhood. They kind of you know. Have something to do with the choices you make as an adult. Or how you react to certain situations. But if I was that worried about you. Being you know. Blowing off the handle on me. I'm going to go get a mediator. We're going to go talk to a therapist. Have the therapist there as the mediator. That way. All these feelings that you might have. We because can what can do she, this healthy? The fact of the matter is, what can she do? You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Mm-hmm. Now I think lying only made it worse. Yes, and then. But I also think that his reaction to the lie, I mean, it was justified in a way, but it was still. It just kind of shows how he might be temperamental and be blowing up and stuff right. like that. Because I'm like. And then what's worse is that she, the wife, is not the one that ended up telling him. It slipped out the mama mouth. <laughs> she wasn't even the one that said, you know what? But I'm just like, what, I are, lied. what are you going to do, <laughs> wait until the baby was born? He That's gonna, what I'm saying. Like, I'm like, at what lying. point were you going to tell this man? When the baby was born, he's going to be like, Dr. Oh, well, it's a boy. He's a girl. You're going to blame it on Dr. Dr. going to be like, you ain't calling me a lie. Don't call me a lie. Dr. be like, I told so you. So the mama, gonna... she can't come, can't be there. Lord, honey, you got mad, but I would have never told that lie. My whole thing was, never been a lie. I been told lied me. to throughout the pregnancy. But how how long was it? How long was the span? It didn't say. But if I had been lied to throughout the pregnancy, but I think you gotta be at least what four or five before they can tell the gender. I would have been Y'all upset. Let me know if I'm wrong. That you well. continued to lie and made me think that I was gonna have a son. So but I would have gotten over it. Mm-hmm. I would have been like, but where I wouldn't have, where I would have been pissed off is I'm just like, um, why do we have to go? Why do we? I don't. I mean, that's why I say it's got to be something different mm-hmm. between because my whole thing was it went in in our situation as a couple, and um, as I don't think it wouldn't. That's where it wouldn't make sense. That's when Danielle wouldn't allow because I'm just like. We're not going to go through purchasing stuff. I'm funny and, about money. You know money. what I'm saying? Okay. Just, and you know, knowing good and well, you know, you're purchasing for uh, uh, another gender. Exactly. I'm just like, that doesn't that doesn't make sense. So, I'm just like, that's where I feel like there's a disconnect because why is it that serious? Right. Is it that serious? Like, Sir, you overreacted. She had to feel like he was going to leave her okay. or something. Like, I feel like it's got to be a little something. I'm just like, well, if me and you had been walking around the store, because I'm sure because as invested as he sounds, they didn't order things off the internet. This sounds like they probably, you know, was mm-hmm. walking around the store and doing stuff. At that point, when we were picking things up and putting it in the cart, I'm going to be like, I got to tell this man, because no. No. Does that just make it worse when you buy stuff? And then... You know, he's probably getting emotionally attached to the ones he's used buying and all of mm-mm. Mm-hmm. No, no, I would have never told that lie. That wouldn't have been worth it for me. Sound like he wanted to carry it. 
Baby. Yeah, you know. Big nigga, pull up your panties. Uh uh. <laughs> he just need a little therapy. Little, Come on, man. Little talk talk. <laughs> Shut up, AJ. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, like I said, I think he has a right to be upset, but. Nah, this doesn't sound like he wouldn't be. Honey, stop. I can't believe you. Started ripping stuff. You this to me. Off the wall, mama, you don't come to this house no more. I don't want you a part of nothing. I don't know why he got mad at her anyway. Talking about because she was part of the deceit. Well, what? Sir, you these think are some gonna... strong words you're using. Was it his mom or her? Her mom. Hers. So you think she going <laughs> to... At the end of the day... I think, I, um, as far as my mother in law, I know for a fact that she's about being honest and stuff like that. But I, at the end of the day, also at the end of the day, I would be a little naive to think that she would, uh, that she would, um, tell me over Danielle's wishes against, you know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, I think she would probably advise her to, like, to, well, she might put her foot down like, I'm not lying about nothing. Right. Like, she might well, not flat out and come down and oh, say, mine is not. To my butt at the my end of the day, not like lies. she's not going to be like, you know, I'm going to go tell him. So, right. at the end of the day, if I found out that she knew about it, I wouldn't expect that her loyalty to me over her daughter. Mm -hmm. I just wouldn't. That's just not, even if she had, even if she was just being doing the right thing, mm -hmm. I still wouldn't expect her loyalty to me over her daughter because that's usually not how that works. Like, right. it just ain't. So I feel like he's a little out of his mind to think that she was probably going to go against her wishes. Even if she thought it was wrong, she probably just gonna kept it to herself. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, anyway, bro. I think it was a little, it's a little much. <laughs> anyway, bro. It's a little much. Yeah, you overreacted. You need to do some <coughs> apologizing. Cause, you right. know, in, in any case, if and when we have a child, I, I want a girl. That is what I want. But if I end up with a boy... I just want healthy. I mean, you at the know, end of the day, sir, can you think about that? Exactly. <laughs> healthy. At the end of the day, so still, you don't get your dream this you gonna, time. You still gonna have a part of you <laughs> yes. being born into this world. So all of that is just extra. I just like that's why I'm just like there's a big disconnect there because it's like, come on now, at the end of the day, you still having a child mm -hmm. and. Like I said, the only thing I would have really, I would have been upset that you lied to me because me, AJ, don't like lies. I don't like, I don't like people telling lies, unnecessary lies, right. and I don't like being deceived, like, even by the smallest things, because I feel like, you know what I'm saying, it, it makes it hard for me to trust you, but at mm -hmm. the same time, just like, um, my issue would have been all the extra that came around the lie. Right. Anything that I would have gone out of my way to do. Because Especially of the lie. dealing with money. You know what I'm saying? Because of the lie. Because that's when I'm just like... Because mm -hmm. now we over here, you know, to avoid uh, telling the truth, you know, you we you got us going down this hole. You know, we doing all kind of stuff just because, you know... It, uh, I'm just like, what else you going to lie to me about? <laughs> or what else <laughs> what have you lied? lied to me right. Because, but so I... You either lie about something, which I know some things for some people are bigger, but for me, that would kind of be trivial for it to, to lie about. Right. So, you know, but like I said, where people are mentally and the things that mold them and change them, I can understand maybe how, you know, she would need to lie, but I just would not. Right. All right, y'all. This is real good. Y'all mm -hmm. make sure y'all try this recipe out, y'all. I, I, I didn't want to, because this is actually. Uh uh. This fish recipe is out of uh, exclusive, you know what I'm saying? Rep City. I gave it, I gave y'all something. Mm -hmm. We're getting close to the hundred K. Y'all want that, that fried chicken, chicken recipe? <laughs> because I'm telling you, this ain't how I cook my catfish though. This it still yields a really crispy result. And I I gave you, I, I dropped it which I didn't drop everything because I didn't really show you the drop, but I showed you. <laughs> so um Thank y'all for being here. Make sure y'all look in the description box. Go on over. If you if you haven't signed up with Timo, go on over there. Sign up for your account. Use our link and um, <clears throat> and you'll get a discount. Trust me, y'all. I got all kind of stuff, man. Mm -hmm. And I was scheduled. Y'all remember we did a video back when I was like, is it like Wish? Yes. But really, everything that I've gotten um, for like, uh, I haven't bought any, any clothes or anything like that. But anything that we've gotten like for just storage or stuff around the house, you know, stuff like that. It's rich, dirt cheap. 
and it works. Mm-hmm. Like it's just good stuff. It's good quality stuff. So y'all check that out. Anyway, y'all, um, thank y'all for being here. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe, like this video, drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Guys, so also remember to share this video, share it with everybody because sharing is caring. So care about us, care about us, y'all. We love you. We mean it, and we're gonna catch you on the next video. Shout out to the crew. Shout out to you. Y'all.